Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on the R129. Uh, had a little miss at the other day where I had no throttle and had to use some zip ties to get the car home. So today we're going to be replacing this uh, guide clip for the accelerator cable and talking about some accelerator cable adjustments as well as about and cable adjustment. Um, so with all that, let's uh, get the GoPro on and let's get to repairing it. Alrighty, and here's our accelerator clip. Uh, factory number is 202. 301-00-93. Um, always, if you guys can, try to get OEM parts. Um, so let's jump right in. With the hood in service position, we can get started. Here is the uh, throttle clip. Um, this here is the Bowden cable. It can be identified by this yellow or white uh, plastic star wheel adjustment with a red boot. And then here is our actual throttle adjustment. Uh, the clip we're going to be replacing is actually sits here in here. Um, in this little lever that attaches to our injection pump. We'll be talking about the bottom cable a little bit later. Um, so we're gonna be putting in this clip. I don't know how good of footage I'm gonna be able to get of me doing it, but we're just gonna prop this lever forward. Now I have the clip installed in the bracket. Um, when you guys go to install this, you're going to need to have the circle end on the end of the throttle, which is right here. It can't be sideways like that or it actually expands the clip and you're gonna have a real hard time getting it. So when you're putting it in, you're just gonna to wanna to try to keep that away and once you get it in, release it and let that circle fall in that clip. And there it is, she's a thing of beauty. So let's get the car started now and uh, get to the adjustments. It's just shifting at the wrong time or it's bogging, it feels real soft. That's when you're gonna be looking at your Bowden cable. However, if it is too tight, you will get hard shifts. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to be checking these things. Before you mess with the vacuum modulator, always take a look at the Bowden cable. There's an arrow on it, it's a quick check. Um, you need, there's no tools required to check this adjustment. Idle speed, um, but I assume it's just because there's a lot of variation. I mean, obviously you have cold hot, in drive, AC on, and there's just a lot of things that come into play there. So I guess we're gonna aim for 750 neutral with no AC on is gonna be the goal for this adjustment. And then uh, we'll be messing with the Bowden cable. Um, so you guys can see here, there is an arrow on this black clip here and that needs to line up with this yellow ring so I don't know if you guys can see that it's very hard to get this but it is out of adjustment um, so we're going to be trying to get it and you can see it slides back and forth so we're going to be putting some tension on this in a moment uh, we're going to get the car out and get right to it fluctuating a little bit so we're going to take a little bit of tension off but remember you don't want to make it too loose you're going to put a little bit of play in your throttle We've achieved a nice idle speed. She's jumping around because I believe I have a new vacuum leak. So be on the lookout for that. If you guys look, we have that Bowden cable lined up just right. Might have to adjust it a little, little more. Let's move the uh, throttle. We want that as close to that clip as possible. And there we are, that looks pretty good. Running pretty good at 750, clips installed. So let's shut it off. Let's go through the gears here. There was one right there, beautiful. To the second to third, should be coming soon. Real light on the gas. Wonderful. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Uh, we're gonna be chasing more problems on this Benz. It seems to break more than I can film videos for you guys, so would heavily recommend this adjustment. The car is driving absolutely great. Shift's wonderful. Um, what, a, what a changer. I mean, no money required. No, no tools even required, really. Um, would certainly recommend. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, have a good one.